Hey guys, welcome back to Woods Tree Farm. I'm Phil, thanks for checking out the channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you an update on our trees. And uh, you know, the, the short story here is that, uh, you know, the trees are growing, that's great. We've got, you know, still some struggles with the firs in our Virginia heat and humidity and the heavy clay soil that we have. They're just not doing well, but the pines and the spruces and the Carolina sapphire and the Leland cypress are all doing great. And the Leland cypress, in fact, I've already trimmed it twice this season, and I'm gonna do it one more time here before the weather turns cool. And uh, I'll give you a view on some of those. Over here, got firewood in the truck. I've been really busy with firewood and I've been covering the whole like firewood business and process and all that on my other channel on Flat Creek Outdoors. So if you're interested more in like the non Christmas tree farming stuff, I've kind of shifted all of that over to the other channel and I'm letting this channel be more Christmas tree farm. But it is end of September and we are starting to think about Christmas because it will sneak up on us. We found each of the last two years it snuck up on us really fast. So we are already starting. So this area Area up here I'm next to my shed this is where our tree lots gonna be it's where it's been in the past couple years all this firewood stuff needs to get cleared out over here was an area where I had some firewood stacked up that was all sold so it's gone I need to clear out those pallets clear out any debris and trash and whatnot that's over there because that's gonna be where we're gonna kind of stage our inventory for tree lot season and then you might have noticed that thing behind me that's a big wreath stand that we made for to display our wreaths inside our tent so we're gonna have a big a new tent uh, bigger than the one that we had last year set up up here we're gonna have all our merchandise inside the tent and our wreaths for sale will be on display on that on both sides I'll give you a closer look at that maybe in my next video or maybe two videos from now because also in the trailer over there are a bunch of pallets that I just picked up I'm going to be building a checkout station or a checkout counter out of the pallets so I'll give you a, a, a close look on uh, what I build there I'll give you a close look on the wreath stand but now let me grab my tools we'll head across the pond and we'll go work on the trees a little bit these are our Leland cypress so we're right up here by the pond and I've got uh, two rows over here you can see the white poles these were some really small ones that we planted this year when they went in the ground they were only about six to eight inches tall and they were pretty slow to start but now many of them are well over a foot tall and are doing pretty good they don't need any trimming yet but the other bigger ones here that we put in the ground in the spring of 2020 right what year is it I'm losing track these were these bigger ones were put in the ground in the spring of 2020 and when we got them they were bigger stock to begin with they were about 18 inches tall but many of them now are over four feet tall and many of them have already been topped at least once this summer so they are doing really well and uh, I'm gonna go through many of these and top them again and uh, trim up any of the straggler uh, branches that are sticking out on the side. But I, these trees I'm finding have been really responsive to fertilizer. I think I fertilized twice already this year and they just are doing really, really well. So I'm gonna give them one more dose of fertilizer here. We've got probably about a month and a half to two months more of good growing weather before it gets real cold. So I uh, wanna make sure that they're well fertilized and um, hopefully that gives them a good uh, base of fertilizer going into next spring and then as soon as the weather turns in the spring they'll have what they need to take off and anyway we'll just complete that cycle annually. I'm talking too much. Over here we've got these white poles where the small Lelands were. Uh, we're, giving, we're keeping the poles there so we don't lose track of them but also we are uh, staking the trees or tying the trees up to the stakes to make sure they grow nice and straight for us. But everything up here is looking pretty good. Take this all with a grain of salt. I have no idea if I'm doing this right, but I've done this, like I've said, twice already this season on these trees. And all I'm doing is going out and any of the branches that are sticking out a little bit far, I'm just cutting them back. And then for this one, it's had a lot of top growth here, about uh, 12 inches or so since this was last cut. So I'm probably gonna cut that back a little bit as well and just try to you know, start to create that Christmas tree shape. And I found that this style of uh, hedge trimmer does well especially if you turn it around upside down because you can go ahead and cut at this angle and it's kind of already giving you the, the shape that you want that conical shape On this next tree here, I can see a few of these branches are growing a little weird. This one comes up and then it's turning that way. I'm gonna wanna cut that back so that it doesn't grow into the other branches or grow around the tree. We've also got a couple of these out here are really long.
I also keep a little a smaller set of shears on me so on this one that curves I'm actually gonna go back to where it's straightened out and I'm gonna cut it back there and hopefully it grows straight from there we'll see what happens So Leland's are looking pretty good. Many of these, I think, are starting to look like baby Christmas trees, which is exciting. And because they've grown so quickly, you can see them from across the pond. And that's also exciting. So all of our guests who come this season for a pre-cut tree, and they're on the other side of the pond, they can look right across and see this field of trees, which is uh, it's very rewarding. That was our vision all along. But now the sun's getting down, so I want to get up to the other end of the field here where we have some Norway spruces, and many of them are starting to get pretty bushy, and I want to get pretty aggressive on them because I want to try to force their growth up, and I don't want them getting too wide and too bushy on us. Now some of these trees over here aren't incredibly tall, but like I said, they are starting to grow more bushy, and we want to start to train that back, hopefully. And this tree next year has got a lot of buds set on this leader, so we should see some good top growth on it next year, but we'll just have to wait and, wait and see. Here's another one that's just starting to grow very bushy. I do like the smell. It smells great. So here's one here with a whole lot going on in the top. There's at least two predominant leaders, of which the taller one is actually the side leader. Uh, cut that down there, I guess. And then we've got this whole offshoot over here, which is trying to shoot off several other things. So, I think, I'll try to cut all these back up here and try to see if we can get this one to be our predominant. And there's a whole bunch of growth around the outside that I think I'm going to cut back. There's a, an old dead leader down in here. I'll try to cut that out of there. All right, well, hopefully that does it for us. I'm actually going to cut this one all the way off. We've got quite a few trees like this one, which I'm saying are like trophy shaped. They're bigger at the top and then they get skinnier down the bottom. So this is part of what I'm trying to train. And again, I have not done this before. I don't have any training in this. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. And some of you guys who watch who have established tree farms can comment and tell me. But I look at this and I think it seems like this tree is trying to grow more shrub-like than conical and Christmas tree-like. So I feel like this one needs a little bit of help. It's already kind of starting to shoot out a double leader up here. And then many of these other branches that are up here are starting to turn upward. So I feel like we need to aggressively cut all this back so that maybe this tree will fill out more in the bottom as it starts to go up. That's the thought. It's already starting to do a double leader. I'm just going to try to trim out one of those and we'll let the other one be the predominant. Hopefully that works out.
Again, starting to look like little trees up here. That is really satisfying to finally see trees in our field. And uh, some of you guys might comment about the grass and weed competition around the trees. Yes, we are uh, a little behind in some of our treatment on that. This winter we plan on, especially in this batch of trees up here that are pretty good size, we plan on uh, creating the handles and taking off the lower limbs. So that will give us more room to spray around the trees and hopefully keep those grass and weeds down really good. I'm gonna wrap us up. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments about the trimming, again, it's my first time. I don't really know what I'm doing and I'll try to answer anything I can. If you got any feedback for me, you can leave those in the comments. Appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.